a roast lamb. And instead of cooking my roast lamb with the bone in, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I've removed the bone, so I've asked my butcher to remove the bone, and I'm going to stuff this with a delicious medjool date stuffing. This is such a nice way to cook a roast lamb, and it's actually quite easy to do. Now, these are medjool dates, and they call them the king of the dates because they're soft and succulent. They've got a wonderful caramel flavour to them. Now, these have got the pit in them, so all you need to do is open them up, and you can see it exposes the pit right there, and we'll just take them out. I'm going to place them into a bowl. Now, you need 200 grams of the dates, and I have warmed up a third of a cup of port. So when I'm using dates like this in a savoury way, port, which has, again, a quite a deep molasses sweet flavour, goes quite nicely with it. So I'm just going to leave this for a few minutes, 15 minutes. If you've got a bit more time, leave them for half an hour. And now we can get on to the rest of the stuffing. So in a large pan, I'm just going to heat this up now, just over a medium heat. I'm going to add some olive oil, about a tablespoon or so. And I'm going to add a finely chopped onion. Now, I don't want too much colour on this onion. I really want to get this quite soft so we can get the sweetness out of the onions. At this stage, I'll also add a little bit of salt and two fat cloves of garlic. I've cut them all in half and now I'm just going to chop them. And now that can go into the pan with our onions. Also, some anchovies, so a small amount of anchovies. And it might seem a little bit weird to add anchovies with lamb, but it's actually quite classic to do this. The anchovies have a really savoury flavour to them, so it's not going to give it a fishy flavour whatsoever. And we need a little bit of chilli. Now, you can use fresh chilli or, like I'm using today, some lightly dried chilli. Give that a toss. And it's starting to smell amazing. And now for the herb, I like to use rosemary. Rosemary and lamb are best friends. It goes so well together. So I'm going to use quite a lot of this. I'm going to use about two tablespoons now and then the rest of it is going to go into the roasting dish later on. So just pick them off. You don't have to finely chop them at all. Now this is looking cooked now, so I'm going to remove these medjool dates out of that hot port liquid. I'll put them to the side because I'm going to chop them and I'm going to add this liquid now to the pan just to cook off the alcohol there. And I want this to become really sticky, so reduce that until you've only got a tablespoon of liquid left. And that won't take long at all. And now I'm just going to chop these dates. So just run your knife through it a few times so it's not too chunky because it does need to be quite smooth so it does hold in the lamb when it is cooking. Okay, this is looking fantastic now so it can go into the mixture. See how sticky they are? Love them. And just spread them out and break it up a little bit into the onions there. And I've turned the heat off now just so it can start to cool down a little bit. And now I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. Now I've got some fresh breadcrumbs here. A few handfuls can go straight in along with some lemon zest. And always add the lemon zest once you've turned the heat off so we still get that intense lemon flavour. And so a little bit of butter just to bind everything together. Break it up with your fingers. This has been softened a little bit. And now that the pan has cooled down a little bit, I can start mixing this in. You can use the back of a wooden spoon like this or, because the pan's cooled down a little bit, I can get in there and press all of the stuffing together. This smells so good. The chilli in there, the dates, breadcrumbs. OK, let's put this to the side and we can get on to stuffing the lamb. This is the skin side or the fat side. We're going to turn it over because we want to stuff it from the inside. Now, bring this to room temperature so it cooks nice and evenly in the oven. Now, I'm going to season it with some salt over the top. Also, a hint of pepper. And now we can add our stuffing. So just with that spoon there. Now, depending on the size of your lamb, you may have a little excess stuffing. One thing I don't want you to do is overstuff the lamb because it's going to be really hard to fold over when we start to wrap it in a moment. So take it almost to the edge, just like that. And if you've got a little bit left over, just like I do, you can add it to the roasting pan because there is loads of flavour there, just with some extra onions there. So nothing's wasted. Now I'm going to roll this like I'm rolling a Swiss roll, nice and tightly. 
So we've got the skin side exposed. And now with some butcher's twine, we're going to wrap and seal this piece of lamb. So just go underneath, we'll tie it, and then I like to do a double knot and then we just repeat the process. Now, once I've completely tied this piece of lamb, we're going to start cooking this. Now, I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees, so a hot oven to start with. And I'm going to cook it for about 15 minutes just to seal the lamb off. Then I'm going to turn the heat down and cook it at 170 degrees for about 35 minutes. Also, in my pan here, I've got those onions and that's going to be the bed for this lamb to sit on while it's roasting with some potatoes. Now this lamb looks fantastic. I've allowed it to rest for at least 20 minutes. That is crucial so the juices really relax into the meat. If you cut into this straight away, what will happen is the juices will run and you'll be left with dry meat. Now the next thing we're going to do is just snip off the string because it's done its job. It's held that stuffing in the lamb. And we'll put it to the side. Last little bit of string there. And now, the way that I like to serve this is on a big, generous board. This is about sharing Sunday roast, and we can just carve this up and have a look at that. Perfectly cooked. So nice, thick chunks of meat here. And look at that centre. It's like a little surprise waiting for you there with a little section of really moist stuffing. This stuffing has so much flavour to it. And then to serve it, don't forget that we did roast some potatoes and those onions. So before I put them on my board, I have a little bit of sautéed kale here. So some greens, you can use any greens you like. And now don't forget those potatoes, the roasting juices here and those caramelised onions. So place that on to the kale and around. See this little bit here? This for me is the best part of that stuffing. It's caramelised there and it's crunchy, it's the best part. Onions on, a few more of those potatoes. And then all of this meat that we've cut up, we're going to place onto the potatoes there and that kale. I can't resist. I'm going to have a little bit just over here with a little bit of stuffing there. Mmm. This roast is so good. It's that perfect combination of succulent meat, saltiness, and then the sweetness of those dates just really make this a very special Sunday night roast. And don't forget, potatoes must have the potatoes with it. <laughs>